Hi there. This video shows how to use Zoom to create a screencast or a recording of your computer screen. The first thing you want to do is open up Zoom. And that's what I've done. So you see me here in Zoom with just myself. No one else is in this meeting. Um, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm ready to record is uh, click on more and then choose record to the cloud. If you have a premium Zoom account through your institution, recording to the cloud is your default. So I'm now recording. My next step is to click on share screen so that I can show something from my computer in the video. Now from here, I'm going to choose this window here. This is um, a window from Canvas that I want to share. And at the bottom, I want to be sure to choose share sound. What that will do is record my computer sound. So that is really an important step if you're going to be sharing a, a video, for example, um, in your video. And now select share. And now I am sharing my page from Canvas. Um, I can do a walkthrough, kind of explain things in a tutorial type of approach, if that's what my intention is. At the bottom, I can click on load this icebreaker in VoiceThread to show an example of the VoiceThread. And as you'll, you'll see now, since I recorded my sound, you'll be able to hear that. Here's your prompt. We all know that educators play a special role. And when you're done, select Stop Recording. And then choose End Meeting. Now Zoom will process your recording and notify you via email when it's done. Let's take a look at what the recording looks like in Zoom. All right, so now I'm logged into my Zoom account. I went to zoom.us or if you're a CCC, California Community College faculty or staff member, you can also log in at cccconfer.zoom.us. Both will take you to the same place. So log into your account at zoom.us. You'll know you're logged in when you're, you see your profile picture in the upper right corner. From there, you wanna click on the recordings tab over on the left, and that's gonna show you a list of your recordings. Find the recording that you are looking for in this case, I'm going to click on this top one here. That's going to take you out to the page with all the different files that you can download. What you see here is going to depend on the recording settings that you've selected in your Zoom account. So I have mine set up to actually record um, a lot of different facets of the Zoom meeting. I have the shared screen with speaker view, so that shows a little picture of me and the shared screen. I have just the speaker view, so that's just me. And then I have the shared screen view, the audio only and audio tra transcript. So you want to download the option that meets your needs. For me, I'm going to download the shared screen with speaker view by, by simply clicking on that down arrow. You can see that it's now downloading to my computer. I'm in Chrome, down in the lower left corner it shows that, and it's now downloaded the MP4 file. Once I have that MP4 file, I can go upload it into YouTube, and another thing I can do is download the audio transcript. And if your final video that you have in YouTube matches what you did in Zoom, in other words, if you're not planning on doing any fancy editing, then you can simply download this transcript as a VTT file, and you can upload that straight into YouTube in the subtitles area, and you've got your uh, captions done for you. They may need to be edited a little bit, so check that out and be sure that they're accurate. But that's how it works. Now, if you're wondering, why wouldn't I just leave my video hosted in Zoom and share that link with my students or my audience? And I've got a good, good answer to that question. The videos that are hosted in Zoom should be considered temporary because the amount of time that that storage actually lives in Zoom depends on the agreement that your institution has with Zoom. And that is going to vary and it could change unexpectedly. So 
when you record in Zoom, if that's a video that you want to keep for future, um, then it's important that you download it and host it somewhere permanently like YouTube or maybe somewhere like Canvas Studio if you have that provided by your institution or another video hosting service. The last thing I want to say is that when you're hosting videos from Zoom, it's really critical that you not have any identifiable students in those videos if you plan to share them with anyone other than the students actually enrolled in that course. And if you do have any identifiable students, that stuff needs to be edited out so they can't be identified so that you don't violate FERPA um, or you need to have a written permission from those students. So if you're doing something like a screencast, that doesn't matter, but it's my job to point that out. So I want to be sure that I mention that.